So hello again guys, today we're gonna make a simple loading animation using Figma like this one. So it has like a, uh, two versions of it. So it has a slow paced one and then a fast paced one, but it's, uh, it's the same animation. So let's start. So first we're gonna make a frame for this one. It is just a square frame. Let's do it one. 10, 24 by 10, 24, a square frame. Then let's create a square and let's say like a color. So we'll have, I think, let's make it different, like a red one. Yeah, I think red is good. And then we'll make it a angular, angular gradient. So first you have to select a color and then Click this one and make it an angular gradient. So let's create our circle. So we'll have the first circle here. Let's change it to, to a different color so you can see what I'm doing. So let's just align this, all of them into the artboard properly. And then the second circle, like that one. Mm, let's make it this. So as you can see, we have now two circles. Let's just align it properly again, just to make sure. And then we will click this one. And subtract selection. There we go. Then last thing, the last thing we will create is a, another circle. So this and another circle will go to this dead center here. So it will be the head of the loading loader so we'll just fit it in there making sure that it fits nicely i think that's good then we'll make it the same color as your base color here so it's the red one like that so what now we're going to do is we're going to group the red things let's group them up and make them a different layer name called loader then this one will have oh wait this is this one we'll make this one as a mask so let's call it mask mask use as mask what i did there is i just right click it and use as mask as you can see we have now our loader so that looks good for me and then we're going to create three more additional frames. One, two, and three. I'm just holding Alt. I'm going to click. I'm just clicking here and holding Alt to duplicate it. Okay. So next, we're going to rotate them. We're gonna, just going to select this one. We're going to check if the loader is selected there. And just going to rotate it quarter by quarter increments. So there's four rotations there. There we go. And there, the last one. There. So we'll, it, this will be in a loop, guys. Let's just prototype it and give it an interaction of while hovering. Then we're gonna click this. There's a plus sign now, then click this to there, click and drag while hovering, and essentially we're gonna duplicate it there and there, same thing while hovering. And the last frame, we're gonna put it back there while hovering. I'm gonna move this one so you can see the wireframing of it there. So I think that's all. Let me just check again. Hover, 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 hover. Okay. So let's just ensure that the smart animate is linear. Okay. So this linear, then linear, then linear. And then we will just... So it goes like that. So this is the slow version of it. So what's... What's happening here when you do the mouse like this? 
is loading it without delay because it is a on tap interaction so while it is on tap if you move your mouse here it's moving like this it's moving faster so if you want two versions of this one you just have to just lay your mouse there and then you you would screen grab this or screen capture or if you want the faster version you just do it like this i prefer the faster version of this one so that's it guys i hope this is informative and i will have this file available in the under description below so that you can copy it and reference it for your design and this this is actually easy to make and you can have other kinds of mask here not just circle but also squares rectangle triangle and just use your imagination whatever whatever you want so so that's it i hope you like this video consider subscribing if you have learned something and stay tuned for next other figma videos so see you soon and have a good one